Hey everyone, so we've got another image sent in for us to edit a really nice orange and teal look. So if you guys like your style, like your look, you can go give her a follow down in the description. I'll be putting all your links down there. So if you come down, you can see the images don't have many shadows at all because you've got that nice, bright, vibrant look to the images. And we're going to be working with this one just down here somewhere. This one, trying to recreate its edit. So let's get into Lightroom. First, we'll bring up the exposure. Two stops. Let's drop the contrast to make it more flat. And then we definitely want to bring up the shadows because we want that real nice, bright, vibrant look. And yeah, now I'm going to do, well, do clarity because there's definitely a bit of clarity in here. Now I'll just do the curves so that we get a bit of contrast in there and we'll do a, a small fade, I think, in the curves. So red curve. Okay, so that's the curves done. If we look at these curves, you can see it's just a real simple S curve, bit more in the highlights, bit more in the midtones, bringing those shadows down. So this is a very, very common way to do them. And you don't have to do them for every edit. So this one's a bit off, but it's all right. You don't have to do them for every edit because usually they will just be in your preset and you don't, and then you'll only change them if you needed to. But people don't normally start from scratch and do the curves from the very beginning on every photo. So this one, just a bit of a fade, very slight curve, bit more contrast in there. Right, moving on. We will do some split toning. So we want to add in the warmth and the redness to the image now. So we'll do that by adding some reds or oranges into the highlights and then shadows Alright, so when we edit these, it should keep that warmer look in there. Right, let's do some of this. So we want our oranges. Uh, we definitely want our yellows to be much warmer. Our blues, so our blues are way too purple. Let's move them to the teals. Here's our aquas here. Okay, saturation. Might skip down to saturation, really bring up those oranges. Reds. Yellows. So if you look at areas here or along there, even. Slightly affecting the skin there and obviously down there. There's only a tiny, tiny bit of green just down there. We'll just drop it right down. Purple. Look 
looks like it's been brought all the way down so you can see it especially over there let's drop it down magenta looks to be the same okay so luminance and this can be tricky because you might think there needs to be more saturation in those blues down down here as well but what we'll do is drop the luminance and it's going to make them look deeper and we'll also make them look more saturated And with the skin tones, we want nice deep skin tones. So I drop them. And keep in mind, this is a screenshot of Instagram. She hasn't sent me the JPEG that got uploaded. So it's quite soft. So don't pay too much attention to the sharpness. Just pay attention to the colors. Um, these reds down here especially right down here they just look and some on the skin they look too red we want it to have a bit more of an orange cast Right, looking good. Let's move on. Sharpening can stay about there. Come down to grain. We will add in a bit. And that's about it, I think. I'm just gonna leave it there, guys. If you guys wanna go give her a follow, check her out down in the description. I'll put her links down there and yeah you can check out all my links down there as well check out the presets if you like this tutorial let me know who you guys want to see really really helps if you comment people that have great images but don't have that many followers that way i can reach out to them on instagram ask them to send them a photo and do a tutorial on them so do that it really helps me find these guys and get them to send in their photos and yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.